Hey, happy Hoon's Day, guys. Okay, we have a lot of games planned for tonight, and boy, what a roller coaster day it was for me. I came across a dead raccoon in the road. I thought it was Mr. Wiener, and moments ago, I was reunited with Mr. Wiener. He's okay. He's alive. He looks a little rough, and there's a video just about that, but tonight, we're going to have a viewer recipe challenge invitation to you guys. We did this last year. It was a lot of fun. What's it going to be, Mr. Wiener? Mr. Wiener's going right back to Dave's Rice Krispie Treats with peanut butter in there. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to put out three TV dinners for them. And they're going to sample uh, beer battered chicken. They're going to have Salisbury steak. And they are going to have turkey. So we're going to see which ones they like best. I have all sorts of contraptions for them to try. Here's a new device I found for an enrichment game for dogs. So they got to kind of tip over those uh, pill bottles to have the uh, peanuts fall out. You hear the turkey. The turkey's roosting in the tree over there. So we got a good number of raccoons showing up now. Cutie Monster's out there. Ebony's out there. Moira's out there. Excitable Bill's out there. We got a game right here, too. Numbers 1 through 10. Do the pick four lottery, guys. Pick four numbers in a row you think are going to come in. There's peanuts behind every cup, and one cup has a unicorn hide hiding behind it. See if you can guess which cup has the unicorn behind it. Okay, <laughs> my wife has these things in the microwave right now. And while those are cooking, let me tell you the rules to the game that I'm inviting you to play. So we did this last year. You guys throw out a recipe for my wife and I to make for the raccoons. Like six ingredients or less and simple items, nothing real expensive. And we will whip it together. We're going to put them out there on the table and have the raccoons compete on what their favorite recipe is. So like the first one to get polished off is the one that wins. Dave is the winner tonight of round one with the peanut butter rice crispy treats and it's going to be multiple rounds and then a final round so go to the comment section enter your recipe to be entered into the challenge we're going to have a limit of 12 recipes this time around okay we had a number disappear right there that looked like the number nine went first <laughs> so we got to keep track of a lot of things at once tonight so i hope you all play the the recipe game Think of something you think the, the raccoons might want to eat, something delicious. You might want to look at last year's videos and uh, see what ended up winning. I'm not going to tell you, but uh, they do have a taste for certain things. And so all you get is bragging rights. There's no prize. <laughs> so we're going to do about 12 uh, recipes, maybe more, to uh, compete against each other. We'll see how many uh, people respond to the game. But it'll be a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun last year. But when we played last year, it was getting close to winter, and not as many were showing up. It's springtime now. These females are starving. They're hungry. They want to put down the calories. So if we put out good food every night for them to compete over, it ought to be a lot of fun. But tonight, they're going to have TV dinners. And boy, does this take me back to my bachelor days. I'm looking at these things. You noticed I, uh, I changed the name there. <laughs> Who's standing out there? I'm not tossing you nothing. You're going to have to come in here. So I think that's Nervous Nelly out there. Here comes Ebony by the bench. Yeah, as a bachelor, I went through a lot, a lot of those. I sure did. But now I, I'm spoiled. I'm a spoiled merry man with an awesome wife that loves to cook. Lucky me. And uh, my belly's starting to show it. <laughs> There's the queen out there, Mama Moira. I did a video on her that I released um, recently. I just love that raccoon. So when I was uh, reunited with Mr. Wiener, back by the woodpile, she was close. And she was being grumpy. But uh, I am so happy that Mr. Wiener's okay. And that, uh, that tragic raccoon death I came across today wasn't him or one of the ones that I know. Okay, look at these guys. They're hungry. Pretty soon, guys, pretty soon the TV dinners are going to be all done. Now you see a couple of those have a chocolate brownie in it. We're taking the chocolate out. Raccoons shouldn't have chocolate. So I also have this uh, little plastic frying pan here and underneath that lid are some goodies. Moira, are you going to show us how it's done? Can you smell? Can you smell it, Moira? Can you lift it up? Show us how smart you are, Mama. Are you going to play the lottery game? Oh, oh. She's sniffing, she's sniffing. She's looking for something particular. Hi, cutie monster. Oh, just because it's you. Just because it's you. 
Here's a cookie, and my wife's coming from behind. That's what Cutie just saw. I think the TV dinners are almost done. Uh-oh, who do we got here? Someone just took out number five. So we have number nine and number five in the pick four lottery. And uh, I don't see the unicorn yet. Which number is the unicorn behind? So that over there is like a, a game, something for uh, Hot Wheels that the kids play with. They park their car in there. I uh, used it as a little pocket for food. And uh, one of the raccoons cleaned that out already. I can't believe it. Okay, so that middle one, I do not have a cap on. So that one can be tipped all the way out and all the peanuts can pour out. The rest have tiny holes in it and the peanuts will just have to pour out. They'll have to keep spinning that thing around. Cutie, 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 cutie. I saw your brother, I saw your brother, Mr. Wiener. And if she saw him, she would probably nip him in the butt because she's totally changed. Oh, I wasn't paying attention here. We had another number come out. So let's see, that would be number 10. <laughs> so we have nine, five, and 10. I gotta keep my eyes on everything. There's too much going on here. Okay guys, are you almost ready for those, for those TV dinners? Yes. My wife's starting to bring them in. Oh, look at this Salisbury steak. Look at this beer battered chicken. We got another one yet to come. Okay. Oh, cutie, do you smell that? Do you smell that, cutie? Are you going to come in and eat the TV dinners? <laughs> no, you got cookies on the brain. Only because it's you. I don't do that with every raccoon, you know. She gets her way. The spoiled ones always get their way. Okay, time for me to get this food out there. Okay, cutie. Go smell the TV dinners. Cutie, you want dessert first? Is that what you want? You want your dessert first. You're so spoiled. You're my spoiled girl. Mama Moira, come on. There's some uh, turkey for you here. <laughs> and some Salisbury steak and some beer battered chicken. So this is going to be interesting because my raccoons have a, a particular palate. There's certain things they like. Okay, Excitable Bill is the first to run off with a piece of beer battered chicken. So chicken takes the first hit. All right, way to go, Bill. Oh, Moira's being grumpy out there. Come on, Moira. Come on, it's feasting time. I think uh, Moira's having a face off with Chaz. Oh, what's that, Moira? Turkey and stuffing? She turned her nose to it. I have such spoiled raccoons here. I'm sure uh, other raccoons that have this channel that are watching are just shaking their heads right now, going, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would smell that from a mile away and come running in and running off with that whole plate. Come on, Chaz. Oh, you're going to get messy fingers. <laughs> Chaz is shaking her head, going, I got my feet messy. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, there goes the turkey. Turkey got the second hit. So... Pretending this is going to be our recipe challenge. Now this is a little too fancy, but uh, it'll be a setup similar to this. And when a plate is completely cleared off, that will be the winner of that round. And then uh, the winner from each round progresses to the final round where the winning plate, the winning recipe, gets to declare in 2024 they have the raccoon's favorite recipe of the whole year. So those are some good bragging rights. Okay, Chaz is liking turkey. It's uh, Thanksgiving and in the springtime. Oh, they hear something out there. We do have uh, we have some neighbors hanging out in their backyard over there. And they have a little uh, doggy that every now and then lets, lets out a little bark. So they're a little bit on guard and some of the nervous ones aren't coming in. <laughs> Chaz is so funny. Doesn't want to get uh, the fingers messy. So because of this big board here, 
can't really see who's behind there. There's Heather. Here's that new female. Uh, very peculiar head and face on that one. Moira's looking at me. I'm sorry, Moira. I'm not going to be tossing too many cookies out there. We need this game to get going here. And we need this, this lottery to wrap up. And we need to know which one is hiding the uh, unicorn. So get it over here, Moira. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's some beer battered chicken for you. Oh, there we go. Are you going to eat it? So look at that. The raccoon and I had the same dinner tonight. I had chicken tonight too. I had a chicken sandwich with pickles on it. Okay, Bill came back for chicken. All right, Bill. Moira. <laughs> Look at her. She's trying to get my attention so bad. She's saying, I thought we had a deal here. I thought I was your queen and you were my servant. So wow, my mood has just done a complete 180. I was so down, depressed, sh shaken up early this morning. And now, uh, now I'm feeling pretty good. I saw Mr. Wiener. I'm having a fun time with a game. And uh, so, yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you get emotionally involved with these guys. It's licking that chicken. There he goes. So, yeah, as far as the meats go, I would say the chicken is the winner. I highly doubt they're going to eat the mashed potatoes and the vegetables. So if I had to declare a winner out of these TV dinners, I'd say the beer batter chicken for sure. That is the winner. Uh, turkey did pretty good. I see uh, one more big piece of uh, turkey in there. I'm a little surprised by the Salisbury steak. Ebony, you look like a Salisbury steak, uh, Oon. Come on. Okay, Bill's saying yes to the turkey. I think he's eating the stuffing. Oh, he spit out the stuffing. <laughs> Bill, did you think you'd be eating a TV dinner tonight? Okay, Ebony, come on. <laughs> so now that uh, Ebony saw Chaz eating the turkey, I think maybe Ebony wants some now. That Chaz is a very strange one with the uh, the bowing down like that and kind of sneaking up, like pound, like kind of like stalking maneuver. So yeah, tonight we're uh, gonna have freezing temperatures. We had it last night. I woke up to my bird bath being frozen because I unplugged it. That is a heated bird bath. And tonight it's going to freeze again too, so I got to turn off the hose again, so the uh, hose doesn't freeze. And then after that I think it's going to warm up again. So, looking forward to warmer temperatures. It's kind of chilly right now with the door open. Come on, Ebony. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm going to have a messy patio. No, something about that, uh, that gravy maybe has, um, turned off to that steak. I don't expect him to eat the green beans. I wouldn't eat the green beans. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at Ebony. <laughs> there she goes with her prize. She's taken off. Oh, I think Bill saw that. Look how gentle they are with their paws, trying not to get messy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you silly raccoons. <laughs> well, hey, a little bit of surprise there. I thought uh, that was going to be last place and uh, ended up being second place for all the meat being gone. Chaz is working on the turkey for third place. We still have to wrap up this lottery game here. Oh my goodness, these guys are endless entertainment.
So I don't know about you guys, when I was a kid, I had a real issue with vegetables. I think I only liked corn and broccoli <laughs> and asparagus. Everything else was yuck. And green beans were my least favorite. And uh, we always had like a baked potato with dinner. So I would eat the inside of the baked potato and then I would hide my vegetables inside and turn it upside down and tell my mom I ate it all. That was always my trick. And uh, after a while she caught on to that. So then we had a, a, a basket in the middle of our kitchen table with some fake flowers and I would actually hide my uh, vegetables in there that I didn't want to eat when they weren't looking and that thing got real nasty after a while. And I was even uh, so bad I would put the green beans in my jean pockets and go outside and toss them in the yard. I hated my vegetables. Oh my goodness, Tiny Tim. Hi there, buddy. I think they leave this little boy alone for the most part. Moira gave a good lunch of him the other day because he's not much of a threat. He's so puny. He's kind of like a preemie baby. That's how I think of him. He's got that disability because those injuries really held him back. And, uh... So probably not till next year will they start to uh, act funny towards him. He's got a lot of growing up to do. Right, pal? You know, I still want you to come spend the night with me one of these nights. I think you have a, a soft spot with my wife. I think she would say, okay, he can come in. I wonder how that would even work. I wonder uh, <laughs> if he would go behind a couch and be like, I'm sleeping here, leave me alone. I have no idea. But someone suggested that I grab him by the scruff and just put him on my lap and he'll get used to it. And I really don't want to risk that. I don't want to lose their trust by, uh, by grabbing them like that. So yeah, you'll see uh, these raccoons uh, look off to the side and look a little nervous. That's, we still got that party going on with the neighbors next door, so that's what's going on. Oh, Timmy. Timmy, Mr. Wiener's okay. He's a little rough, but he's alive. Yeah. I don't want nothing to happen to you either. You're one of my favorites too. And I hope you and I become better friends as time goes by. I like how you look at me. You're a cute boy. You got some muddy paws there. Were you digging? What were you doing, raccoon stuff? Oh, yeah, you tell Chaz. Timmy, who's that? Who's that, Timmy? Oh, it's just a toy. And in the toy, there's cookies in its belly. So it's got that there. And uh, maybe when Cutie comes back, I'll show her this. I just found this today at a store. Okay, Timmy, I didn't mean to scare you with the fake raccoon. <laughs> Come back up. Come back up. Timmy, you almost did it. You said this is much, much easier. Why play with these contraptions if I don't have to? Oh, Nelly, come on in. There's food here. She's so nervous, thus the name Nervous Nelly. She insists on being out on the periphery. Oh, someone wants mashed potatoes? Well, I'm surprised by that. Hey, Nelly. Nelly, right there. You don't like them in the shell so much. That's a little tough for you. Chaz, you'd be good to Tiny Tim. What are you doing, Chaz? You're a crazy one. You're a crazy lady. Now that I know you're a lady. I'm going to just stick with the name. <laughs> I kind of like that. That uh, Bill's a girl and uh, Chaz is a girl. It reminds me of my mistake of uh, prejudging them way too early before I really know. <laughs> So I'm going more off a of personality than anything. 
Chaz, you got to give us another number here. And you got to give us that unicorn that's hiding behind one of those uh, numbers. Oh, oh, oh. Going up to number two. Oh, he turned number two around. Does that count? I don't know. It's still in the cup. I don't think that counts. I think it has to get pulled out. Nelly, oh my goodness. Oh, I should try and make a basket. Uh-oh. Going to number seven. Chaz. <laughs> Chaz finishes the pick four lottery for us. So number seven is the last name, last number there. Still haven't found the unicorn. Thank you, Chaz. Timmy, we got all four numbers to the pick four lotto. Yay! Nellie, you're as bad as your sister Moira. Oh, you hear that turkey? So right in that big maple in my, in my neighbor's yard, that's where the turkey roosts every night and did that last year too. You'll see a lot of my uh, videos from last spring. Same thing. Here's the new female. So I need this female to start to get familiar with me. I mean, I can tell it apart, but it's a little tough for me. Uh, it's mostly in the face I see uh, the difference. It's kind of a, a wider badger head would be the way I describe it. So someone from uh, England mentioned uh, hedgehogs and badgers in their country. And I live in the badger state here in Wisconsin. And my entire life, I've never seen a live badger. And I've looked. Oh my goodness, the big giant Gertie. There you go, mama. I got your nose. <laughs> I love it when Gertie Monster shows up. <laughs> it's like uh, watching King Kong walk into the room. Oh my goodness, girls. Well, Gertie found the frying pan. <laughs> Holy cow. It's on. Oh man. Fur is flying. Oh, I didn't catch it. <laughs> but the unicorn just fell out of number three. I don't have this camera going all the time, just so you know. Because sometimes there's large pauses in between them doing anything. And Chaz stood up and went for number three right as I was turning it on. You'll have to trust me. <laughs> so number three had the unicorn. And Nelly is being something. Nelly usually isn't this close. But Nelly is desperate. Probably because Nelly's going to be a mama too. So yeah, I think we've wrapped up all the games here. We got our pick four uh, accomplished. We got the unicorn accomplished. Uh, they kind of tinkered with the, the activity game a little bit. Um, I would like to try that a, a few more times and see if they uh, figure out the system to, to tip it over and pour out the peanuts. We found out that the chicken was the favorite out of all the TV dinners, followed by Salisbury steak and then the turkey. And then, yeah, don't forget uh, the viewer recipe challenge for 2024, the spring version at least. We might do two competitions this year is on so go to that comment section think of a recipe you want my wife and i to recreate and we're going to put it out here in the same type of style and let the raccoons choose what their favorite is and uh, if you make it to the final round and win you'll have uh, uh, bragging rights for uh, all the year for their favorite recipe last year david was the winner okay guys happy oons day i'm in a much better mood now that i know that uh, mr wiener is okay see you guys